saying, hey, you're the one who's copying. Okay, I'm gonna say something totally random to get us out of sync. Jellyfish and Jellica Houston, black sub statutes and contract tour and restitution 2012 to 2013. Wow, I'm not even mad anymore. This is just insane at this point. But seriously, stop. No, you. Seriously, dude, stop. Fine, but mostly because I'm terrified of no visor hunting us down and trapping us in this game forever. Yeah, and not a regular ghost that helps do tasks and stuff. A real, legit ghost. A forgotten soul that waits here between our world and the afterlife. That's he wasn't always that way. No visor used to be a regular guy, just like you or me. Really? I've never heard that part of the story before. It all started with a young college student named Maiden that was doing some shopping out at a flea market. See, this guy didn't have a lot of money, but he needed to find a working PC for homework and other stuff. Like video games? Right. He thought he might be able to find something for a decent price there. Too bad in the end, he paid the ultimate price. So Aiden takes the laptop back to his dorm, right? He was supposed to go to some crazy party that night, but he got so excited to get his rig set up that he ended up bailing instead. Okay, there's no way you actually know that's what Aiden said. Dude, will you let me finish the story? The big twist. According to the legends, he was in the game the entire time. Whoa. Yeah, well, they say he's some sort of missing code that's been left in the game since its inception. Inner Sloth keeps trying to pass him out, but no visor finds a way to survive. And to kill. What do you mean? Well, it's rare to see him. Nobody's figured out what causes no visor to show up. But if you're playing on the skilled, there's a small chance that he's lurking about, stalking you like prey. If he catches you, he turns you into a hideous no-visor and curses you to haunt these halls just like him. Hey, look at that. The lights are back on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I can't believe we got so worked up over that story. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, I'm not scared of some silly ghost that's probably not even real. Yeah, me neither. You should be. No!